Here in Los Angeles, housing is expensive, but there's an alternative which could save about 30% on construction costs, shipping container homes. CBS 2's Suzanne Marquez shows us more. As the cost of living rises, the way we live is changing. People are living in modular homes, prefab homes, and even shipping containers. The containers get all the headlines. Countless shipping containers come into the ports of L.A. and Long Beach, and many of them stay. But some are being repurposed into everything from retail spaces to homes. When Paula approached me and said, oh, what about a container? I thought, well, this is insane. And then I met Peter, and I still thought it was insane. Matt and Paula Dowd are using containers to build two homes in Redondo Beach, one for them and one for Grandma. Where I can age in place, and my grandchildren will grow up here, and I'll be with my daughter and my son-in-law. They're building with architect Peter De Maria, but it's an idea that still stirs controversy. Things are mostly Mediterranean or craftsmen, and you bring something like this to the city, and they're like, yeah, I don't know. It took several trips to the city council to get their property approved with multiple modifications to the design. And Matt had the same concerns as the city. My opinion was, you know, oh my gosh, it's going to be boxy, corrugated. But many homes built from shipping containers look like this and this. All of these homes were designed by their architect. Very few people would be able to tell, wow, that's a container home. The containers are the thing that really breaks down the door. And people say, wait a minute, I can do it a little bit differently. And I'm not going to sacrifice on quality. I'm not going to sacrifice on the size of the house. And all of it translates into doing it less expensively. Most containers can be covered with any surface, like wood, stucco, or vinyl siding. And it's affordable while maintaining quality. In general, we're probably around 30% less than traditional construction. It's a great value, but the quality of construction is heavy gauge steel. That, that blows away a wood frame house. A comforting thought in quake prone Southern California and by upcycling metal containers, it's one of the greenest options available. So the containers really became a means to an end where we're trying to do something more affordable, something that's saving the planet in some ways. You know, we're taking a material and we're upcycling it as opposed to cutting down five acres or six acres of forest every time we want to put up a new wood frame house. De Maria says there's a revolution to change how we live and the Dowds are early adopters. And I think this is how all great progress is made. Rarely does it happen overnight. And the fact that we're building container homes makes it less expensive so that we can actually build two homes and be able to have three generations on one piece of property where I can run to the store and take care of her. And I mean, it's going to be great. Suzanne Marquez, CBS 2 News.